Yeah, hello there. This is Malak. Welcome to, like, I don't know, the second episode or something. I don't know. Um, we left off... <laughs> I should know. Um, we left off just looking at the skill tree, basically. Um, so, yeah, I need to pick some stuff. Now, I was looking, like, at the other things around, and there's just so many. Like, no wonder the, you know people put guides together for this sort of stuff because you you look at it and I don't even know what a brand is you know like lightning mastery obviously pretty straightforward you just do lightning damage zappy zappies um but anyway so I want to look at like zombies and stuff so or minions as a whole the shortcut things on these plants, they, they, they get you where you want to go pretty quickly. So I, I think I may end up just going up that path. Um, so that's all spell damage, but if I just go up here, get some intelligence, and just beeline it to that minion offense mastery. Um, obviously I need to have a little look at other things. There you go, you've got minion... Oh, you see, that's the thing. You've got spell damage and cast speed, which then gets to Arcanist Dominion. Then you could go here, get some more minion-related buffs. Get the Deep Wisdom, which gives you energy shield and stuff. Jump over to Intelligence and go to that Minion Mastery. It's a, it's a quandary. It's a quandary as to which way to go. I'll probably end up going both ways, I suppose. I kind of feel like that way gives me access to more minion-related things. And gives me quick access to two minion defense. And if they've got better defense, then I guess they're going to stay up longer and I can focus on other things. I don't know. Um, so I'm just going to grab that one as my second point. I'm going to get a lot of points. My god, that's just given me a more shield. So now my shield is is actually pretty big now. Okay, so I've got my zombie pals. Let's look at this impaled corpse. Oh yeah, nice. Nice nice things there. Let me remind me what I was doing here. Yeah, yeah the impaled corpses are sort of like chests in the sense well they have chests, obviously. Um but you can like get random loot out of them. Jeez, he's a spicy boy. Come on, zombies, get him. He's like a basically a boss. Not as in figuratively, but literally. Too medicine much chest. Clutter. Too much clutter. How oh, big's the medicine chest? This is where you do the uh, the um. Inventory Tetris. Which again, I it's a big chest, fancy lining, very nice. Portal scroll. Um Yeah, if you have your inventory open when you pick things up, sort of annoyingly, you end up having to faff about. Is this a one-handed thing? Can I make a nailed fist? No. Can I just have a second wand? Oh I can. Oh, okay. I mean two ones is good. Two ones is better than one, I guess. Simple robe. You know, it's slightly better shield, um, but, and but then again, that ray zombie doesn't actually, it's ever so slightly better just because of the energy shield. Um, so, this stage of the game, oh my god, I've just murdered my poor zombies. Yeah, the moment you lose the actual skill, it it, uh, it decides, fuck it. So, okay, so my original wand and my new wand are both there. Awesome. Okay. Um, I guess I'm just going to grab other things for, uh, for the lols. <laughs> Everything's, like, three high. I've got no, like, 
shields and helmets and stuff. There's a lot of wasted space. Yeah. That's about as much space as I can save, but I still can't pick up more things. No, yeah, well, let's let's blap blap more things. I don't know why I'm blapping when I've got the zombies are doing quite well as they are. I I'm absolutely fine with zombie on zombie violence. Well here's a Oh yeah, just to let people know, normally you don't see equipment until you hover over it. Um, unless you hold ALT, and if you hold ALT and it reveals things. I just press Z, and that toggles it on permanently, and it's like... I'd much rather, um... I'd much rather be able to see loot and things all the time. Go on attack! Yeah, this fireball's area of effect is nice. You just wait for the zombies to, to get into melee. And then just chuck a fireball into it. And then job done. Ooh, crucified corpse. Contains nothing. Yeah, because I end up wasting a lot of fireballs. Not that it's a big deal. Not like I'm limited number. Um too much clutter. Yes, mustn't have clutter. That shabby jerk. Ah, uh, no, green. Like, <laughs> because the ranger is my other character, I'm immediately like, oh, that's. Oh, you know, that's quite good. No, it's not. It's, it's actually really, really not good, Mele Melekia. Kong has removed the eternal stain from this coast. The Empire's citizens decorate our meeting houses with their heads. Holy our shit. warriors built homes for our families. Our families till the earth, fish the waters, fill the air with song. The Kadwi way is yet a seedling here, but it grows, gains in pride and power every day. Kaun has kept his promise. The time of the Kadwi has come. Kauri. The Kauri. Yeah, I'm gonna nail this too. Transmutation, intestines. So, a leather cap, that'll be small enough to pick up. Boom! Counted zombies! Do your thing! So yeah, I'm just gonna sort of work my... I mean, I could use a portal scroll to teleport back. I kind of feel like I want to save them, you know? I, but it, like a lot of things in this sort of game, and the way I play these sorts of games, I end up saving an awful lot of things and then never using them and ending up with so many of them that it's like, yeah, when were you ever going to use these things? Eh. So let's go back to Lion Eyes. Drop off this medicine chest, sell some loot, and, uh, and hey presto. I'd almost stop believing in miracles. This medicine chest. It's greater than the serums and salves it holds. It tells us that we can do more in Ray class than merely suffer. I've not much to offer in return, but... Please, yeah. take something and thanks for what you've done. I mean, this is okay. So these are more flasks. We've got a medium life flask. Because these are basically just kind of limited charges with sort of very rapid health regen. Same same with the mana. Um, but that one's even bigger. 150 life over three and a half seconds. Um, so that's like more than twice the life over only slightly longer to wait. Um... And it's, again, easily got three uses. Um, mana flask. So it's nice, you know. Maybe that, so that I can have the mana. Or I could go this, and a uh, little, little, little speedy girl. That's what I can be. Can't use that yet. I'm gonna go for the mana. Oh, no, wrong place. Put it there. Ooh, and I get some of these. Ah, Elemental Proliferation Support. So, supports any skill that hits enemies or could otherwise apply elemental ailments. So, Ray Zombie is one of them, because it can do stuff. Um, 
1% increased duration of elemental ailments. Ailments caused by supported skills spread to other enemies. Supported skills have 20% chance. Freeze, shock, and ignite. So I'm guessing that they're the ailments. This is the bit where I am literally guessing. I, I believe that they're then under the umbrella term of ailments. Cool. Um, the supported skills is the skill that's connected to it. Um, it's a shame that I haven't got a, another link there, because then I could make it so that both my zombies and my fireballs could both then have the elemental proliferation. But unfortunately not. You, you get equipment that's got a lot more slots than what we're seeing here. It takes a while to start seeing four slot equipment, but it, it happens. It happens. I like that one. What's next? I'm gonna spell cascades. Doesn't work on any of the fireball or the ray zombies, because as you can see that supportable skills is crosses. I'm not interested in that yet. Infuse channeling support. Summon phantasm support. So what's a skill that can hit enemies or create minions? When those skills or minions hit enemies or hit rare or unique enemies, they will have a chance to summon a phantasm minion. So basically, I'm going to end up having the zombie minions. Um, but I could also then start having phantasm minions. It could just, like, create a runaway effect. I have seen this before. I think I plugged it onto my siege catapults, ballistas, whatever they want to call them, on the ranger. Um, but I got rid of it soon because, you know, it's, it's just one of those things that didn't really work for that. But I like that idea. See, at the moment, I've got zombies, which I'm going to plug into there. Summon phantasm support. Oh. Ah, it's, it's level four. I need to go up a level before I can plug it into anything yet. Okay, yeah, I'm fine with that. Sell, 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 sell. And stuff I get in return. What's giving me the scroll of wisdom? Vest. No? Nailed fist. Oh, I think it's just... Whatever I'm selling, there's an awful lot of scroll fragments coming through. So it's hitting the fives... I'm an idiot. I don't even... I don't, I, how do we play this game? <laughs> So basically, it's automatically converting the five scroll fragments into a scroll of wisdom. The whole fragments thing and the sh transmutation shards thing, it's an interesting system. I, I like it. I, I quite like it. But it's, uh, it's, it can be, uh... Where we live, we are blessed. So let's go to the stash. Chuck all of these things back in there. Um, and I guess chuck that in there as well. Um, that's a support thing. Yeah, because that Phantasm support requires level 12, because I've leveled it up, so, um, with my other character. Uh, oh, let's talk to Bestel. So, you managed to salvage Shaky Ann's druggery. Nicely done. Nessa will put it to good use. More than that benumbed quack Optin ever did. Well, I mean, charming. Got a job for you, if you're willing. Ooh. There's a pool near the mudflats needs investigating. You'll smell it before you see it. Stinks like a carcass in high summer, but that's not the worst of it. Dead birds walking. Animals don't rise up again the same as people do here. So if they aren't raising themselves, what's doing it for them? Mm -hmm. The answer's in that fetid pool. I mean, Clear the place out and possibly? kill whatever's raising those rowers. We've got enough living dead to contend with already. Yeah. Stay sharp out there. I mean, I'll try, I guess. I'm going to teleport straight back to this waypoint and then carry on this way to the mud flats. What a convenient. Ah, oh, yes, my zombies. Where are my zombies? I'm actually going to have to take down some enemies. Oh, 
Ooh, that's a level up. You know, I should have probably carried that gem on me instead of putting it in the stash. Because then I could have plugged it in, like, now. Oh well. Oh well. Let's just grab a load of things. Right, okay, I'm gonna I'm just gonna head back to that waypoint and then just do the swapsies. Because having zombies summon their own phantasms, phantoms, whatever, that sounds really cool. Um, so here we go, summon phantasm. So there's the zombies, plug in the phantasm, hey presto. What's this? Flame wall. Create a wall of flame for a duration which deals burning damage to everything in its area. I mean, I'm going to try it, because why the hell wouldn't I? Um, I mean, it looks like I'm going to be a, a fire necromancer, I suppose. Doesn't look like the... Oh, it's remembered my zombies. That's good. Okay, so it's definitely d destroying them in order. There's one of the phantasms. There's two of the phantasms. It lasts a while. They're really deciding to dislike me. Got like four phantasms right now. Very cool. The um the little borders, top and bottom of their health bars, I believe is their own little energy shield. Mana. Yeah, you're fine. Yeah, it's not going to take long before I start running out of storage space like all the time and end up being very picky on what I pick up. Black storms descend on us from the north. Unnatural tempests of rage and hatred lashing our backs, tearing at our houses. The rain is shot with shadow. It withers our crops, sickens our livestock, and the wind. The wind carries with it a restless spirit that breeds melancholy and madness. A spirit that creeps through our dreams, weaves tales of misdeed around our resting minds. We try not to listen. We try to remember ourselves. Some of us forget. Brothers fight. Brothers die. Calm punishes those that quarrel, that steal, that murder. Yet still the nightmares goad us into malefaction. Yeah, that's um, not very well timed. Too much clatter. Too much clatter. I mean, the nailed fist is probably not that amazing. Um, again, you just kind of accept that sometimes you're just gonna end up having to throw things away. Now I think that, because Berman, this game is free. Path of Ex Exile is free. But I think it's got loads of expansions that might not be free, or it's microtransactions. There's definitely microtransactions involved. Um, 
But so far, I've had hours of fun with it. So I, I, I think that that's not a, not a criticism. Okay, there's a, there's, there's got a moderate range. The wall of fire. Let's create some of these gems again. Yeah. This nest. I've got a random, strange glyph. Too much clutter. That's pretty much my uh, inventory full then. Still gonna have some space for a few things here and there, but. Yeah, it says burns everything, but that firewall definitely is enemies only. I don't know why I'm even throwing fireballs half the time. Ah. Yeah, I need three. Yes, yes, yes. I have done these missions before, but it was very much a flail around at random sort of a deal. That's a big boy. Oh, fuck Quick, drink the potion. I need more mana. Well, I'll drink a bloody potion then. Hell! I think this ray class will serve. Okay, so yeah, that was a slightly more hectic battle. Um, too much clutter. And I want that because it's magical, and it's uh, it's only a narrow thing. So let's get one of these things that are not magical and swap it for that. Still keep thinking the moaning zombies are enemies, in the sense of you know it's like when you what the hell is going on there? I do not like that. I like how the phantasms are just having their own little battle on the screen. Oh, hang on. No, this is me. I get lightning. It's like a temporary thing. Zappy field runs out. Ow. I mean, that worked. Smash the egg. Get a glyph. Throw a fireball. All in a day's work for a man. Or a witch, or. Whatever. I mean, I think witches are... Mange is a fairly general category. Still getting used to the new class. But yeah, it's pretty good. Okay. So, let's open this chest. Too 
much clutter. Just set fire to myself. I need more mana. Yeah, well. Maybe I should, you know, go and uh, spend some of my points. The zombies are awesome. My zombies are definitely better than these other crappy zombies. My zombies are more powerful, more sturdy, and they summon their own little ghost buddies. I'd like to think that they reach into the carcass of the creature they've just destroyed and they tear the soul from it and bind it in a in a brief moment of torment and anger. And maybe that's just me. Um, what was I going to do again? Spend points, that was it. So I've got two points to spend. So I think I was going to go up through the minion-based stuff. That's going to give me mana regeneration and more shield, so that's always good. More health and damage for minions. Apply. Okay. And I'm going to take the glyphs to the glyph wall, which we found over here. And then, then, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to call it for this episode. I'll plug them in. Oh, one, one click. And now we have a spooky submerged passage. The first proper dungeon we're going to encounter. And that will be next episode. So until then, uh, Judio.